Uh, and uh, yeah, so how are you? How you been, Chaos? I've been quite well, quite well. Uh, really looking forward to seeing what these guys can do here at the Singapore Circuit. It's always a lot of fun. It's uh, Monaco with a little bit more space, a little bit more uh, more sharp 90-degree corners. And uh, I, I think it lends itself to some pretty entertaining racing. And especially in wet conditions, we're going to see a bit of carnage here, and I think it's really going to shape things up. I'm looking forward to seeing how things happen. Uh, both with uh, the front runners and also with people who might be able to get themselves into really nice positions because of the chaos that's likely to happen. Okay, so we have two drivers out on mediums. So maybe the race does not start a wet race. And there, you know, if the if the race does not start wet, you want a, a durable tire that will take you into the um, the rain time. Certainly so. So JD coming out swinging with a 134.7, followed by El Sucio Dan, 135.0. PLL with a 135.8. Uh, nameless Nate, 37. And then we have a couple people in the 37s, a couple in the rest on the 38s. Hey, I have a car. <laughs> so this is why we were a little late for the streaming tonight. Um, I made an error uh, and not did not choose to spectate. So I'm uh, on well, the grid tonight, apparently. Remember when I did that at uh, at Vietnam last season? Oh yeah, yeah. It's an it's an easy it's an easy mistake to make. It uh, certainly, unfortunately. So, do we have it, any of our uh, any of our new guys from last week? I don't see if we have a Tukumi. No, um, or Kenny. So, both of the people who had really, really uh, dramatic intros uh, last week are not going to be challenging this race. Mm. Oh, All right, uh, let's Diego go on that, board uh, with JD for another lap. Check my. I my love this track story. so much. Diego oh. says that apparently I'm not picking up on the stream very much. You are not picking up on the stream very much. Purple sector for Rogaine and sector one. Okay, can you say something? Okay, hold on. One more time. All right, here's a little bit of audio. Audio test. Diego, how's my sound levels now? Audio? Audio check, check. Okay. And uh, there's one more thing I can do here, which is to go and... Never thought I was going to have to do this. I need to make you louder, my friend. Making me louder. That Oh, Rogaine. Oh, loses it late on, and he had a good lap going there. And he finds himself turned backwards. Needs to spin it around here. Oh, Rogaine spun around sector three. Oof. Careful he doesn't break his car here. Uh-oh, he just... JD had a moment. Oh dear, he de-ghosted there and got in the way of Lanka Dien, I think. 134. Oh. oh, and he hits Nameless Nate. Oh dear. Oh, that's that's just an unfortunate situation for Rogan. And that's a five-place grid penalty for him. Wait, did the game just give him a five-grid... Uh, a five-place uh, grid penalty? Is that, that what you're saying? That is indeed what just happened, yes. Uh, do you have the that overlay thing that uh, I don't? It just, it just popped up. It just popped up. I that's, right. uh, that's the next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to check that. All right. Uh, did Diego say anything about the volume now? Uh, hasn't said anything since. Okay. Well, if no one is complaining, we're good. Let's go. <laughs> Well, they'll, they'll certainly pick up something if there are any continuing issues. I'm just bringing up my little track map with the labels. Because now's the time to get this. I'm, I'm guessing oh, this Balzix is going to be a Oh, says still cannot hear chaos. 
Can I hear chaos? How? Uh, check, check your check your audio inputs. Uh, maybe maybe Discord is not uh, is is muted in your OBS if that's what you're using. Oh gosh. Um, how do I go? Oh, do I go my settings? Is that what it is? I think so. Yeah, audio, audio inputs. It says audio. Uh, that it, uh, do they can, do, can they not hear you or can, can they uh, hear you? So I'll, I'll check with that. Um, Balzac, uh, can you hear me or am I just very quiet? And maybe super is he, should ask that as well. Yes, is he just quiet or can you just not hear him at all? Interesting. So I'm completely uh, okay. Um, can you see the the audio feed for? Uh, for, do you, is it OBS that you use? Yes. Okay, um, so do you see my voice causing any change to desktop? Ah, uh, okay, okay, no. Let me do that. All right, so it's possible that um, your headphone feed or whatever audio feed you're using is not actually being picked up by OBS, but is being picked up in your own uh, speakers. Okay, can you say something? Audio check, here we go. This is seeing if you can get my audio. Audio, audio. JDR, still with the fastest lap here, but it is, uh, it is a full second between his time and uh, El Susio Dance right now. Pro game, I'm about to go and set a lap here. One thing that you could possibly do is uh, look at um, where Discord is sending its audio to. So if you go into Discord settings... Oh, I, I, it's on my headset, so... Oh, okay. Uh, alternatively, um, we could do a Steam voice call. Do you think that... Okay, hold on. Headset. Desktop audio too. Headset, earphones. Okay, can you say something? All right. Here's my audio test. And if this doesn't work, we could potentially do a Steam, uh, Steam audio call. It worked. Oh, that worked. Perfect. Hey, everyone. You can at last hear me uh, after the... First, uh, first 16 minutes of qualifying of uh, Sakuri doing a one-man show, speaking to a strange ghost. <laughs> oh no! I, I'm glad we got this uh, under control in qualifying. So just to see the times here, while wow, there's one second in between JD's lap as 134.0 to El Susio's dance 135.0. Yeah, that's. Are these guys all out of? Oh no, they're just being nice and getting out of the way. Red Rogan Baron here, with a 35 I think seven. critical thing for Rogan here, he needs to set this lap. This is really going to be uh, one of his last chances to set a good lap here, and he's just finishing it right now, and he goes P10. That's below where Rogan is usually going to find himself here, and I don't think he's going to have the time to set another lap, so that's one person who we're going to have an eye on for this race because he is very much out of position. Hey there, Diego, how's it going? Hey guys, thank you for all your patience with, um, it's the first time I used OBS and is he, is Jorgen just parking the car? <laughs> he just parked the car. Oh, he just retired. Okay. That's, that's fair. So all let's right. go on Nameless Nate. He's on the time lap right now. And I've got my eyes on Raro. Oh dear, Raro! Oh, into the wall. Goes into the wall. At turn Yellow 13. flag. 
Yellow flag, sector two. Oh, uh, that yeah, that's El Susio Dan and the Singapore Sling. Yeah. Well, I was thinking I was going to do a uh, one lap, just going through a little guide of the course here, since I think Dubman is doing. Nope, he's uh, he's finished. Dubman is retired. All right, so I'm thinking the P the top three are pretty done. I don't th unless Nameless Nate is taking very he's being very careful around this uh, sector three here. Takes a lot of curb. Well, if there's ever a time to go balls to the wall in the last couple of corners, this is really it for him, seeing if he can push himself up higher than P8. Nice qualifying for Brother Tron and Bricklaw, by the way, in 6th and 7th places. Oh, 8th, 10th! Hey, there oh. we go. Ferrari, Ferrari P5, P6. P5, P6. All right. We there were, we have we're it. Talking. That's good. The Div 2 Ferrari is really delivering here. So, it doesn't look I like feel it's judged. going to change position here. <laughs> Yeah. Don't worry, don't worry. It's uh it's, it's thoroughly thoroughly non-judgmental. Grazie, grazie. Oh no, oh no. We we it, it, you can be. It's fine. It's been a rough <laughs> game, I tell you. Well, it's not hey, even a rough season. It's been a rough game. Well, you, you know we it's it's going to get more challenging because uh we just found out that Lucky Moose is going to be coming back with a vengeance this coming race because it turns out that he'd been racing without his force feedback turned on in the F1 game. What? So somehow his How is that possible? got turned off. So he was like, my goodness, a set of Corsa has such a better handling thing. It yes. actually gives me forced feedback. Right. And then he realized that somehow F1 2020 had turned off his forced feedback when he first hooked up his wheel. So for this game in specific, it was not giving him forced feedback, hence all the spins and things. So uh, wow. <laughs> we've got some more excitement coming through, but uh, let's not talk Wait. position one today. Are these guys... Are these guys still doing laps? Oh, I forgot there's this bug that we see. We see qualifying mm -hmm. time being zero, 0 but it doesn't. Yeah, so uh, everyone has indeed set their laps. There's no one left on any hot laps. So our qualifying is JDR on pole position with a 133.814. El Susio Dan lines up in second. Red Baron has pushed his way up into third place, so he's going to be starting very high up on the grid. Uh, PLL in the fourth, um, who has had a very promising start, although he's had a couple of challenging races, but I think he could really pull off something impressive this race. Prestige and Nameless Nate in fifth and sixth, Bricklot and Brother John in seventh and eighth, and Raro Jail. Hang on, did I say Raro in third? That's Red Baron in third, pardon me. Raro and Jail uh, Patel in ninth and tenth. Chaos, chaos. Yes, Go sir. to Red Baron. That does not look like. Huh. That did not look like the computer driving around. That's very interesting. Curious that. So, uh, with our championship as it stands right now, JDR is presently 16 points in the lead after his third place result in Italy, uh, with El Susio Dan in second, 171 to 155 points. And then it is 60 points back to Rogaine in third place, who has been having a very strong season, uh, very consistently a top five finisher. Um, with two podiums. Uh, Krith as well, but Krith has unfortunately missed uh, this race and missed I Italy, so he's falling back a little bit. And Raro has been really putting on a very consistent points uh, streak. He hasn't been out of the points since China. Uh, and also, he's All right, finished so this every single starts, race. So this does start raining. Um, oh boy. And uh, I can't tell if it's inters or wet. Well, this will be an interesting thing to see. So everyone's strategy is going to be pretty much starting off in the same place, I imagine. Uh, so this definitely shakes up anyone who thinks that they were going to perhaps do a do a reverse strategy, medium soft or something like that. Yeah. Or yeah. It, it, so we won't know for Wednesday if a one stop or a two stop is faster. All right. Looks like all right. Well, they are fast, or maybe gap flag hit it a little bit earlier, one or the other. Okay. Hey, I'm no long. I'm not. Uh, I'm not loading as a driver, so I'm. I'm thinking the game took care of that. It's not going to have me as a ghost. 
All right, Sakura, you want to call the very start here? Sure. Perfect. I'll, I'll pick in once we're past the first couple of corners okay. of chaos. Do you want to? Uh, I, I can. I take uh, you take. I take the front. You take the back. Sure thing. Try to catch the ca catch every action. All right, five red lights. Away we go! These guys are full heads trying to uh, get traction. It's a great. Everyone seems to be very well behaved at the front. So nothing. Oh, there's a Red Baron! A Red Baron into the wall. Into. Out of turn one. He's went into the wall. There's an Alpha Romeo! Oh! That's JD! JD is 90 degrees to the corner! That is amazing. And, uh, it, yes! Uh, and there's a. Uh, oh, there's a. Uh, oh, there's goodness, chaos. there's way too oh. many stuff things happening right now. It is absolutely. There was a harsh. racing point. There's another wing flying all over the place back there. I'm in P7. Um. <laughs> so I have to say, my podium prediction, which I hadn't said aloud yet, but I was going to say. Gert! Gert is going <laughs> off. What a mess! What We've a mess! A safety car. So let's dissect what has just happened here, Sakuri. And also, just uh, for a record, my podium prediction had been JDR, El Susio Dan, and uh, Rogaine. So. Hmm. El Susio is in PA right behind me. <laughs> and no safety car, just yellow flag. So this is no, still no, like. It's a safety car. It is under safety car. Is this safety car? This it's safety car. safety car. Okay. Yes. What a mess. I've, I've, it's been a long time since I've seen that amount of carnage in the first. So uh, let's take a. So I, position I, change. The winners and losers. Uh, Sakuri, um, you're. Are, is that your card <laughs> AI control? Because you're currently the person who's up nine positions. <laughs> <laughs> Go me! <laughs> Lot of Mercy is now saying my microphone is too loud, so I'll make sure to speak softly. And uh, oh, and now your microphone to is too loud. Okay. There we okay. go. Um, the El Susio Dan, five places he's lost. Red Baron, eight places. And JDR, fourteen. Uh, positions fourteen. Now. He went from P one to P fifteen. I know what a. What a ridiculous situation, but... Oh, we else, have people in the pits. That we do, that we do, Sakuri. We have both McLarens in the pits. They're going to double stack. Well, let's keep an eye That's... on that. There's a little bit of a gap between them, so I think they might be able to get away with it. There. Oh, Two, no, three, they don't. Four, what are they doing? Five, oh, there was a wing six. change. There's a wing change. Oh, the wing change delays. Them oh, so half long. of the field is on the pit. Is in the pits. So we have Dubman, Red Baron, Jay in and the pits. PLL. So because of all of this, PLL. JD. Oh, the Alpha Romeos are double stacked. Oh, what a nightmare! Not that I Goodness. mean, JD was last anyway. What a what a busy pit lane. What an absolutely ridiculous start to this race. So At least uh, no one's wheel got machined off. No yes, one's that's wheel true. bolt got there machined off. There is a website off. asking, is Bodice's car still stuck to its wheel? <laughs> so, uh, at, at currently, my understanding is it Fantastic. still is attached. Uh, since the entire thing, <laughs> they, need to, they need to get a Dremel that can cut through the, uh, the uh, nut so that they can manually remove it because the whole so this, thing is entirely smooth surface. So just just talking uh, uh, as far as the drivability in the track right now, Dubbims himself came out of the pit and there he lit up the rear and almost lost the car. So this, these conditions here on this track right now are not great. Um, yeah, understeer, oversteer, he's having both. And I'm watching him because he's trying to catch up to the uh, to the queue. And uh, well, there's so many of them. There's going to be another lap under the safety car as everyone catches up here. There's so a big really gap. So Pete Rogaine is the last one of the um, safety car train, 
And then there's a large gap to Brother Jam, and then a large gap to Dubman, and then Lacadian and the rest. Uh, they're, they, 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 they spawn the two sack. I did, I have not seen anything like this in a long time. I was out of words. There was a yeah, too many things happening. This was just a bit, a little bit too wild. Just uh, coming through the uh, the very first set of corners, and everything went down coming into Republic Boulevard. Just uh, cars <laughs> on the side, leader spun out on the uh, ninety degrees. Bricklot's uh, wheel, and he's in the chat right now. So sorry to hear about that, Brick. That's really unfortunate, especially after your really nice qualifying performance. Uh, it always sucks to be out early on in a race like this, especially with Hun that's looking like it might have some pretty high attrition. I mean, we have, uh, all right, in the excitement, we forgot to call, P.O.L.L. leading the race, followed by Prestige and the Nameless Nate. So the Ferrari driver is doing very good. Raro, P4, uh, me, <laughs> P5. <laughs> yeah, so, so clarifying. El Sucio exactly. Dan did all right, um, given the circumstance. Certainly, yes. And Sucre, so that's an AI driving your car right now? Yes. Okay. And 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 he's not ghosting. So that is a that is a serious challenge for everyone here since right now. Your AI I am is the very most sorry for every track. driver watching this tonight or tomorrow. I am very sorry. But on the uh, bus, this is what Division One is like. You get to race with the real Sakuri. <laughs> uh, you know what? This AI Sakuri is not a whole lot faster than real life Sakuri. So you know, come on to Div One and. Uh, the <laughs> race was in there. We need people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, other things that have happened here. Rogaine having a really, really fantastic uh, start since he had that five place penalty and qualified fairly low. So he has. Oh, yeah, he gained nine position. places. Yeah. yeah, so Rogaine is really, you know, my prediction of Rogaine P3, Dan P2 could still very much happen here. Uh, additionally, Lek again, in spite of having to do a pit stop, is still up three positions. So things are looking fairly good, and, you know, we always talk about how an interesting race happens once you have people out of position, and my goodness, Sukuri, do we have people out of position. It looks like yeah. they're starting to back off, so I think we're going to have a safety car restart happening this very lap. I am on board with PLLL. Yeah, it looks like safety the safety car, car is coming in. So it's up to PLL when to restart oh, the race. That was he's backing everybody reason. off. He's backing everybody. Oh, and PLL picks up a penalty for that. And there he goes. There he goes. Oh, goodness. That was oh, PLL. he what is. He doing he's here? got too greedy in the throttle. Oh, the, oh, no, no, no Ferrari on Ferrari. Carnage, please. We need some points, boys. Oh, these guys are so brave. We've got some side-by-side, -side and Lacadien spins out on the very first uh, exit here, turn three, and he's got some front-wing damage. That's All right, El Sucio, El Sucio have cleared the AI driver, so did Rogain. Okay, I'm doing pretty poorly in this restart. I've got my eyes on JDR as he's now chasing down Ermagert for 13th place. JDR, if he wants to make use of the pace that we know he has here, um, he's going to need to just carve his way through this field to get back up to where he, he feels he should be towards the front. If he can't do that, then that's going to just blow this championship wide open. He had built a very, very strong lead after uh, two second places in a row and then three victories in a row in Austria, Britain, and Belgium. And if Who did? things could fall apart, uh, JDR. Oh, JDR, yes. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, very this is a, 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 yeah, and El Sucio Dan is a, is a chasing driver. He's in P4 right now. Oh, we've got a little bit going wide here. Uh, Irma Gert, Red Baron, Gab Flag all together, and JDR seeing if he can do anything to pick off this group in front of him. Like again, we oh, El Sucio Dan, El Sucio Dan in P3 already. Ahead of we missed that overtake. Well, there could be Everyone is so... Oh, what a train here. Rogaine, WM himself, DAI, and Brother John. 
literally on the same corner together. Certainly are. And, uh, I've, oh, goodness, Gap, like, a little bit of a different line here from Red Baron. This Red Baron is... Oh, El Sucio Dan. El Sucio Dan is lining nameless name for an overtake. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Wow, he's a rocket ship. Look at him. Oh, Gap Flag is on the inside edge. And JDR goes a little bit wide, and Gap Flag holds the position. Raw roll in the inside of Prestige. Oh, that could have been tears. That could have been tears, but both of these drivers left each other's space. Raw roll just snuck his nose right in there. Uh, Prestige had the uh, reaction not to turn into him. All right, now we gotta watch that gap in between PLL and Susiotan. Uh, 3.7 right now. We can come back to these guys. And JDR uh, is not making up places. The gaps are building in front of him, but he's getting caught up. There's such a fight happening as the racers are sorting in front of them. Red Baron and Armagurt have been able to get through on Gab Flag, and all of this fighting in front of JDR has prevented him from being able to land and move. I am very sorry, Brother John. Brother John is stuck behind my AI, can't find a way through. Uh, Roro is really riding Prestige's gearbox. Relentless. He, I saw him take a look into the inside earlier. Oh dear, Brother John oh, is a great bot. Oh no, I'm so sorry. That's a virtual safety car out. Oh no, okay, my bot got deleted. It's fine. What is his? Oh, his wing is gone. Oh, what? I should get a penalty for that. <laughs> It's, it's a really unfortunate situation. So are you not able to take control of your car and retire it? I cannot because okay. I I got out, re I left the session and rejoined see, as a spectator. I so I can unfortunately do nothing about the situation. But hopefully now my AI oh, is in P14. It should right. just be out of the way, uh, at least until uh, Lacadien comes up. But with uh, with two pit stops early on, he's going to have a lot to make up before he. I mean, guy, the AI goes. is set to like forty. Some of us so... are embarrassed to say what level of AI they play against in single player. Oh, I'm Rogan, sorry. making a pit stop here. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Oh, dumb himself. Oh, PLL got a drive-through penalty. Is that it? is huge. Oh, Rogue is gone. Yeah, uh, he's going in. The pit? Nope. That's somebody else. Oh, Sakuri, he... Do you realize okay. PLL yeah. is out of the lead here? He has a drive-through penalty for speeding under the virtual safety car. The virtual safety car ended and he was slightly over Delta. He's got oh, to drive through here and no. this is going to deliver the lead of the race to El Susio Dan, who is just putting a huge gap on Nameless Nate right now. Five seconds! Dudes of a freaking rocket ship. Meanwhile, JDR is still behind Gab Flag here. Uh, they're making their way down Raffles Boulevard, seeing if he can oh. move here. Oh, this is going to be spi spicy right here. There is spice up and down the track here. Oh, it's just so short. He cannot get an opening. Gab Flag defending very effectively here, and Red Baron just in front of him. Oh, oh this JDR no! spins four wheels. Oh, yeah, he, he decided to play Dirt Rally. <laughs> oh, uh, Gert might get a run on JD here. Decides against it. Red which Baron is wide, Gab Flag through to into seventh place. Fantastic results for Gab Flag so far, but you know we're still only one fifth of the way into this race. My goodness, Monaco is a very slow, short race. Oh, Red Baron! Oh, oh, Red Baron understeered. Almost gave uh, JD a run. Gert is. Riding JD's gearbox, too. He certainly is, yeah. And one of the things we do have to remember this is an extremely long and fatiguing race, even when we're racing virtually. Even dry. Uh, because even a, dry. Oh, certainly. And keep in mind, everyone, that this one is a full length. It's got the, the full standard F1 race length, unlike Monaco, which is a similarly very tight, twisty, slow track but it doesn't have quite the same distance. So Singapore races in real life can frequently go over two hours. So we could be looking at well over an hour of race time non-stop for these guys. That's true. Red, Red Baron, Baron in the pit. pit. And that promotes JDR up to eighth place. Okay, so that frees JD into some two, two and a half seconds worth of free air. So we'll see what happens to him. Uh, WM himself is... Uh, 
on Raro's gearbox. And it's been for a couple laps now, but he's really pushing for an overtake. He might get the traction here. Now what strikes me is Gapflag has been able to build that gap on JDR. JDR's dry pace is just not appearing yet in these wet conditions. Oh gosh, you guys, be careful. Oh no! Oh, no, dub him! He oh, he's clear. on the outside! He was on the outside of Roro. That that's my I overtake. That I mean, that's very optimistic. I I give give full credit to the bravery there, but this is Singapore. There are overtaking opportunities coming into the heavy break. And so oh, Roro, Roro goes real deep. Goes real deep. He recovers the car, so he doesn't lose a, a wheel or a wing, but he, he does give the position to dub him himself. Further up uh, at the front of the race here, El Susio 10 with a moment here as he comes into turn 16. And now we're going into the little back and forth along the... PLL stretch. is doing alright, holding. But he basically has that penalty. He needs to serve his drive through penalty or he's right going now, to be disqualified. Doesn't he? he needs to be in right now. Where is it going to come out? It's going to uh, come out P6, right in front of Raro or something? I oh, he's going to get disqualified. Oh, goodness. Is he it, has he missed his message? I think he might have one more lap, but we'll see. Fastest lap for He has PLL. one more lap. And then El Sucio. I yeah, mean, these guys was... are... They, they're just crazy fast. Meanwhile, JDR still behind Gabflag. Gabflag doing a fantastic job keeping the championship leader just locked down behind okay. him. Okay, uh, Roro must have... Yeah, Roro demolished his wing, so he's going in the pits. So I thought he had saved his wing and wheels. Uh, only true for his wheel, so he needs a new wing. JD now in P6. Is he going to pull a cub? Is, Is he JD going to pull a cub? It could be that very patient races. Okay, I find myself in a bad situation. What do I do? There's a yellow flag, and I think that's Lacadienne. Just in the in the uh, in the back stretch, he's caught in the wall. Picking up pace. All right, it now like all now all the deltas are down to OJD oh, goes real Ooh. deep and Dan as well. Real, real deep. This guy getting impatient. Coming around the tight turn just past the Anderson Bridge down Esplanade Drive. El Susio Dan is closing in on PLL, but PLL has nice pace here. We were pointing to him for potentially good results here, and he's just running as long as he can, trying to build up as much of a gap as possible, so that- Oh, goodness! Big oh, wow, Dan. that is- Yep. Yeah. <laughs> I was on board with that. He's had a moment on the braking. JDR is so got a JD run on dub already on dub him himself. Oh my god. Coming down the esplanade. And he's through on his teammate. Wow. Oh, oh. Dub has a moment there. <laughs> that's yeah, he did. Winning. So Gabflag, oh, he's not going to risk it here. Gabflag knows he's got a really nice position here. And he may have other opportunities coming up behind Dubman here. PLL in the pits, driving his drive. Uh, serving his drive through right now. That's a relief. I'm glad that he's not getting disqualified just from missing a uh, missing a penalty. There's 20. He might come out. He, he might come, come out in, front, in front of. Uh, nameless Nate going in the pits. Is this a wing change? And let's see where he comes up relative to Dubman, who is coming down the start finish straight, and he is comfortably ahead. So PLL actually is only a short ways back because of this penalty. Well, he's he's forever from El Sucio Dan now. All right, we get to see JD to um, chase the former race leader. And this is going to be an interesting and very meaningful fight here, since PLL and JD are both going to be uh, looking for podium positions here like we, we we expect big things of both of these guys jdr has had to come back from being totally spun around to last place early on but because he didn't have to pit things were not as bad as they could have oh pardon me he did have to pit so he pit on their safety car yeah he they got double stacked yeah absolutely so it is but he was last anyway game. so 
over the Anderson Bridge and into the tightest, slowest corner in the track. Gab flag on dub him. All right, here he comes down Esplanade. Right Trump, on there. Kick right out on, the on there. Meanwhile, Jail Patel is right behind Raro, and we've got a yellow flag at the tight corner here. Oh, 90 here. Oh, JD is out. JD is retired. Out. You look at that. He lost the car. Oh, goodness. Completely. What a disaster for JDR. He, he deleted the car right in, in right into that braking zone. And El Sucio is, is leading the race. Oh, my goodness. This is this. If El Sucio then finishes the race in this position, he is going to seize control over this championship. Safety car is deployed as everyone is cautiously moving their way past the ghost of Sakuri tiptoeing around. Nameless Nate getting past, and oh goodness, that's just... Prestige in the pits for uh, fresh wet. Do we know how long the wets go? Does anyone on chat knows how long the wet dry... You can, uh, can one-stop uh, the wets. Tires. I think you can. you can pretty comfortably do do 15 laps, certainly. 20 laps, I think might be pushing it a little bit, but we'll see. Mate, anyone can win this race. Absolutely. I mean, I mean, JD is one of the best drivers we have in both divisions, may I add. Certainly. And he lost under braking and demolished his car. And critically, El Susio Dan's lead going to be completely deleted. 35 Done. seconds, gone. Yeah. It's, it's nothing. El Susio might have, he has a free pit stop. He oh, might goodness. as well. El Dan oh, he's got a drive through. Penalty. Oh, oh and no! And serve drive through penalty. He's How gonna be painful. last. He's gonna be last because he's gonna lose the thirty three second buffer. He cannot. He can, okay. He cannot serve the drive through right now. He's going to lose the thirty two second uh, delta to the safety car. Then when they are in racing again and there's no delta between them, he's gotta come in for a drive through. What a painful he's gonna situation. Be He's he going to be last. He's going to be pushing then. That's that's just oh goodness! What an unfortunate and unforced error for for El Susio Dan here. It is he is what I said. Push it. I commentated this curse the crap out of this guy because I just said anyone can win this race tonight. Well, right now, in spite of anyone. everything that happens, it looks like PLL is going to find himself back up in second. And dub my and AI might win this race tonight. <laughs> so hang on. <laughs> <laughs> who, who predicted a PLL Dubman Gab flag podium? Because right now, podium, yeah, that's what's happening. Yes, absolutely. So he's gonna go in for a, a tire change, right? He's so, gonna come out in P1 with fresh tires. However, it's got a drive-through. And I've got a uh, Balzac brings up a good point. Is the time you have to serve the penalty? from the time the penalty is given or from the time the safety car ends dubman coming into the pits well that's a good question i think it, okay if cold masters have done something correct which is a big, big assumption ask. big ask you have three three um racing laps to serve your drive through so but because what if the safety car goes for four laps you get disqualified which We've ha you know, given Cold Masters, that might have that, that, that might has be explicitly uh, happened thing. to people before. Prestige, by the way, by not picking here, finds himself promoted into third place overall. And El Susi Dan has caught the safety car. Dan has caught the safety car. And what this does, again, safety car resets in a race where everyone is getting very strung out. They'll take a long time, and they're going to delete all of these gaps. So the fact that Laka Dian had a just disastrous start to the race means nothing now. He's right here. He is able to fight once again. Everyone is going to get thrown together and we have another lap one melee and Sakuri, we are only one third of the way through this marathon. Yeah, we are race. not. We are not one third throughout this. Did I tell you I missed this? I missed this so much. I am very too, glad Sakuri. I'm doing this again. I'm so Because glad these back. guys... These guys put quite a show, and uh, it's it's. This is better than the real F1. What are you talking about? So oh, yeah. this is like as good as F2, F3, where you the know, actual I, actual racing is. 
the the excitement of uh, the previous uh, of of Sunday's race was basically that. Uh, that we got uh, to see Lance Stroll's face. A wheel got machined happens. off by Mercedes, you know? Uh, You're forgetting the that's moment a Ferrari where, we move. See, where we got to see Lance Stroll's face uh, make an exciting overtake up the uh, first hill. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that was that was rough, dude. Because that's like, that's Seb Vettel's luck. I don't the time use the he does something that is really very good. often, but that was the word I used to describe the directing. <laughs> <laughs> The Seb, Seb Vettel's luck, yes. There is a reason that the number five car is cursed. I'm telling you. Oh, yeah. I don't believe in curses, but it's cursed. I remember <laughs> very clearly the first year Ricardo and Vettel were together, there was this cartoon someone made where Vettel was wondering what on earth had gone wrong, and then he looked at the paint on his car, and then he scratched at his name, and he saw that the TT was actually the BB, and the V had another V. Oh my god. I'm the new Weber. <laughs> oh man, this just spiced this 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 race up. So it looks like about everyone except Lacadian and Jay will be able to catch up the safety car, assuming the safety car goes in right now. Well, it's not going in this lap. Oh goodness, there's it's such a big gap. How did that happen with Jay Patel? Did he do a pit stop and yeah, I, I I didn't have my eyes on him. Also, Sakuri, mm -hmm. I have to point out that your bot has made its way back up into fourth place. So, slow back. Oh, for that. no! You know, it, it is just to show you in, in wet conditions, slope as steady does pretty all right. This this reminds me very much of when, uh, when Bobino and I were <laughs> first and second in the US Grand Prix last year. Yeah. And I just kept on not pitting under every safety car until I found myself in front of you with like 28 lap old tires, at which point things went downhill rapidly. <laughs> yeah, that was a good, that was a, a, a race to either remember or forget. Forget if you were driving that race and to remember when you were watching that race, because apparently the Division 2 guys, they really like watching that. <laughs> well, All right, I will be right back. Absolutely, I'll cover for the moment. So, everyone is gathering back together, and once again, our situation is El Susiadan is leading, but he will have to serve a drive through penalty, so he's not going to hold this lead for long. So effectively, we've got PLL, who will be leading very soon, followed by Prestige, Gabflag, Dubman himself, Nameless Nate, and Raro, Ermagert and Brother John making up the top 10, Red Baron, Rogaine, Lacadien catching up with the safety car queue, and JL Patel in 14th place, functionally 13th since Sakuri's car is not really supposed to be there, it's just sort of joyriding right now. Our two retirements that we have thus far are JDR, who has retired after being on pole position, spinning out, almost recovering, and then losing it in turn 14 on the exit, and Bricklot, who only <laughs> made it three corners, unfortunately. <clears throat> So, 13 racers effectively left in this race, and it looks like we're going to have one more lap under the one safety car. One more lap. Okay, so I think Jay might be able to catch the safety car crew. Oh yeah, yeah, he will be, he will be. <clears throat> there's, a, there's about a 40 seconds slower uh, lap when they're under the safety car than in normal conditions. So, 40 seconds to catch up from where he is, that's doable. That's absolutely doable. I expect that we'll be seeing a restart in about three minutes' time, Sakuri. Three minutes' time it is, and, uh... Wow. We what are going to be here for a little race. while. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's only 8.20, or 9.20 9.20 Eastern. Well, I hope you don't have work tomorrow morning. I definitely do, but it's okay. This is great. I uh, I missed I missed very much doing these. So oh, PLL almost uh, in the back of El Susio, which is what he did earlier. PLL ran into the back of El Susio Dan, which is why he had to serve that penalty for a collision under the safety car. You know, for everyone watching this. You don't need to be this close when the safety car is like in this, like this. Actually, these guys are giving more space than I've seen them give in the past. Yeah. But it is also a monsoon. Also, it's not. That's not a 
that's not an inter line in the middle of the track, is it? No, it certainly isn't. I don't see one at the very least. Oh yeah, there's a lot of water in the screen. Okay. Yeah, this is still absolutely full wet conditions. Late night rain here in Singapore at the Marina Bay circuit. Oh, Rogaine is also AI. So we have two AI now. Driving. Safety that car is. in this lap. Yep, yeah, and he here is. we go. J.O. Patel has caught up and once again the whole field is gathering together. Spread out over just a tight little 15 second gap. El Susio Dan falling back from the safety car as he prepares for his restart. And everyone else just Let's playing go. it careful behind him. Let's go on board with El Susio Dan because not a lot of us get a chance to lead a safety car restart. Absolutely. So we'll see where he chooses to restart the race. Where would you choose if you were in this situation? I'd choose to do it just as I come out of the corner. I don't want to run any risk of spinning up my tires, especially because things are going to be a little bit cold. People are going to be a little bit rusty. I would go just oh, as wow. I come to this race here, but that's quite late. But it throws people off. They can't start ramping up through the final corner as they come out onto the start-finish straight. Here we go. Big lead for El Susio Dan. Okay, so far so good. Everyone seems to have made the restart. And the McLarens are really close together. Oh, and Red, Red Baron, Baron oh! He holds it. He's very brave. Rogaine's back also. Rogaine is back. Rogaine. He's no longer it, under okay. AI control. Brother John, low oh, wide. Oh, Brother Red John Baron. went wide and that gave Red Baron a run. Oh, these guys are racing wheel to wheel in the monsoon. Oh, he was had a hard time hanging out to the outside. Lacadien, Lacadien is out. There was a collision between J.L. Patel and Lacadien, and Lacadien is out of the race, and there's a yellow flag. Is there going to be yet another safety car here? No, there won't be a safety car. Come on. J.O. will get the car turned. So, uh... El Susitan already putting on a huge lead on PLL. Yeah, but... four, four seconds. Oh, he's got a third. He's yeah, got he's three got laps to add as much of a of a gap as he can. Well, there we have it. So that answers your question, Paul. Like he can indeed wait for two laps after the safety car before he has to serve his penalty, which is good. That's how it's supposed to work. So, uh, salute to Codemasters. All right, there That's is a works. big. All right, so apparently my my AI is very slow in holding everybody up. Yeah, it's making so, things a little bit exciting here. Raro, oh, inside no! the Nameless Lake. Oh, Raro winning the He's inside of Nameless He's Lake. Intact. And that would have been almost tears right there. Certainly so. I would so. be so I would be so angry if I were this guy's for very good reason. This yeah, is, if, if you yeah. need me to, you know, like hide you Crazy. in my house for the lynch mob or something. Yes, I, absolutely. This is. Oh, oh El Susi Dan Nate serving his got through. And El Susi Dan is serving his drive through now, so he's playing it safe. He's maybe not entirely sure how much time he has to serve it, so he is serving okay. his drive through penalty now. It's going to drop him down. Let's see. I think it's going to put him. Just into 11th place, yes. That's correct. Guys, guys, please shove my AI to the wall. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> I am Prestige. so sorry. Oh, oh roll, roll on the outside of that man. Does he make it stick? Prestige oh, that was so hot. Damage. Prestige is taking was... wing damage, getting past security. Prestige wing damage. Oh, wow. goodness. <laughs> Nameless Nate trying to get past the Man, we're getting out of nowhere. Dude, Roro did such a hot move on the outside. And Rogan is through as well. Okay. And Tubman. All right, good, good. All right, get get All my right. AI out of this nonsense. And we've got pit stops for both Red Baron and Jail Patel. I think, I think I've seen the hottest, ballsiest move from Roro on the outside. Meanwhile, in full wet then. conditions. If you don't know what I'm talking about and you're watching this after the fact, go back, go back a couple couple quarters ago, and uh, I was on board with Raro and he made that move. It was a really good move. So right now, now I think 
all eyes need to be on El Susio Dan. He's just gotten past Brother John, and he is just going to be a man on a mission as we hit the halfway point of this race. He's behind Ermagert. Good, he's a P10. Ermagert's going to get through. Oh, is he going to use uh, Sakuri as a pit? Not quite. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Is he gonna do it? He's going to oh, oh no 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 great. no 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 he you know he's did he incur wing damage with that tap? Let's see. No, I don't think no, so. No, he has no wing damage, fortunately. El Sucio Dan, you can be more patient than this dude. You have half of the race to go. Oh he's spinning out of the way, god! Get out! <laughs> Get out Armagurt is uh, is knocked down to ninth place. PLL pitting. What? PLL oh goodness, pitting. PLL Why? pitted, and I don't know, he must have had damage. I can't see, I mean, otherwise he just didn't pit under the safety car and opted to pit right now. I don't really know. No, I don't know, either. Either way, this promotes Gab Flag into P1. P1! We now are looking at Gab Flag, Prestige, and Nameless Nate as your leaders of this race. Double Ferrari, double Ferrari podium. Come on, boys. Ca careful saying I swear things. to God, you're so close together. Was that a piece of wing? On the floor? Was that prestigious wing? I couldn't say for certain. Oh, no. Did he not spin all of this? Oh, that's a beautiful shot. That That's... The Kudos to the to, to Cold Masters for this. I don't usually praise them, but this is pretty good. Nameless I just want to see the guy's Magnus wing. Team. I just want to see his wing. Come on. Nameless Nate has a run on Prestige here. Oh, yeah. Yes. So Prestige is uh, missing a left nameplate. Uh, team orders, guys. Come on. Let, net, let Nate buy. Team orders. He is Meanwhile, faster Susie than Dan you. Is the dub, man. <laughs> and up into P6, he's now chasing down Rogan. El Susie Dan is just closing this gap so quickly. He's going to be yeah. on Rogan by the time he's at the start finish straight. He just has so much pace. I have to say, he's got to be now the fastest man on track. But Gav, like, building up a very, very nice, commanding even lead. Oh! Go, oh, El Susio! It is still the that, fastest lap! What was he I lost saying? the rear end going into the straight, and it's still fastest lap. That's just how I show you how fast this guy is. Is he on a control? I think he's on a pad, too. I couldn't say for certain, but he is putting on a show for us tonight. It's just no one has been able to have a clean race among the usual frontrunners. And for reasons like that, Gab Flag. And let us say a word about Gab Flag. He's got a full straights lead here. Oh, Eight and that's a very oh, slow what, exit what is this? The Ferrari. Prestige is still there. They're going in side by side. They bump into each other. No, oh, guys, guys. Oh, your Nameless Nate knocked into the wall. Oh, we don't need oh, a Seb Vettel Leclerc situation. Our engine already sucks. We don't need that. <laughs> oh, he's gonna. He, he's putting his nose right in there. Oh, he's got it. He's got in the inside. Wow. El I did not think Dan that was is a... up into P3. Why have I not been. I keep on saying El Susie Dan is the one okay, to be He on opens the turn. He else. swings the car. He does a switch back. Does he have the. Oh, no! Oh, prestige! Oh! I saw. Okay, that that gives Raro a right. run. And, oh goodness, Raro makes a bit of what a mess. Alsusia dead. Alsusia dead. Up the Roro. inside. Oh in, my in goodness! In the inside again. Let's watch. Safety car. Here. Safety oh, car. Safety car. What is the cause? Get the hell out! What is the cause of the safety car? Prestige needs to pit, pit right now. He's missing like his M plate. Oh, that's because El Susio Dan has some fresh tires on these guys. That too. Well, wait, no, he doesn't because this pen he went through the pits to serve a penalty. No, 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 no. He pit, he pit under the safety car. Then he went in again to se to serve the drive through. Well, El Susio Dan's tires are only one lap younger than Prestige's and Gap Flags. Oh, really? 
Yeah, yeah, his well, he's, he's got just five super level fast then. Fuck. Yeah, he's just actually that good. Also, Gabflag losing his big lead here. Yes, he's gone. El Sucio oh. Dan's gonna eat him alive whenever they release him. I mean, that may be the case, but goodness, I don't even entirely understand why they brought out a safety car for this. There was no car out. But, well, that's uh, that's the game sometimes. Uh, Armor Gert putting on the fresh wing. Oh, and he's got Nameless Nate right behind him. <laughs> Rogue Gang is back in P4, dude. Like, this guy How will never give up. That, so, so much that, this, this is the reason I never feel uncomfortable predicting Rogaine on the podium. He is very reliable. Like, you can you can count on him, you know. He's had a little bit of a streak of uh, bad results. But previously, up until Britain and Belgium, he'd just been never finishing worse than P5, frequently getting podiums. He is a very underrated driver, I think, who can just pull good results out of any situation. That's that's very that's a lot of praise. That's good. And oh, uh, I I know I know he's fast. I mean I remember, you know, when I was uh, doing broadcasts, I uh, he just came out of the woodwork and was fast like right away. So I mean, I'm just very the speak I'm, for themselves. Two, four, I'm, three, four, three, five. <laughs> I'm very, very, very heartbroken that uh, JD uh, is no longer with us. Rest in peace, brother. Well, he now has uh, one retirement for this season. So if, if you think of it this way, uh, El Susia Dan missed Australia. JDR missed China. El Susia okay. Dan had a retirement in China. Now JD has had a retirement in Singapore. They are That's now fair. on finishes. They're completely even. They both have one did not start and one retirement. So, how, the, how uh, do you know? Do you happen to know what the line? What's the delta between these two guys in points? Between gap lag and oh, the delta is sixteen points right now. Okay, so uh, El Susio think takes the leadership takes of, of a division two after this race. It, assuming, assuming he wins, I mean, I don't see any reason why he wouldn't win. Sakuri, my friend. Stop doing yes. that. You're going to kill us all. <laughs> Why? Am I back? I'm back in 8. Why? Uh, I, I speak more to your commentator's curse than what your uh, strange ghost car is doing. Oh, he's definitely going to win. There is no question. I mean, he, it's like these guys are wet and he's on interns. Even if he goes last, he's going to overtake everybody. Unless it's he ridiculous. hits a wall. And you have seen him have... Moments. Oh you can't no, deny don't that. say that. Okay, I never said that. That Now that's on you, my friend. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm really saying we cannot count our chickens until those chickens have finished 31 laps around the Marina Bay circuit in a race car. <laughs> ba Balzac, if Susio, if Susio DNFs, yeah, it's gonna be a. Uh... true. Dude, I'm already going through uh, uh, an identity crisis with making the mistake also, in the full to wet race Sakuri. in Singapore to give these guys an AI to navigate through. Like, this Sakuri, is so... Your, your AI is traveling so slowly that it's preventing the rest of the field from catching up. Yeah, I know. It's... I'm so sorry, everyone, again. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll stop calling out your AI at this point. It's Seriously, someone has got to shove him in the wall. Like, he's got to lose a wheel or something. Speaking as the stewards, I'm... we won't penalize you if you do it. <laughs> we will not. Any any, any uh, driver on bot violence, I'm all for that. It, it's okay. I think they're uh, going to catch up, so I think this is going to be the end of the safety car. Okay. I'm going to have now... my eyes on PLL here. He's right in the middle of the field. And Sakuri is definitely going to bottle things up a little bit, so I think watching from P6 is probably the place to be for this restart. Safety car in Safety this Safety car in this lap. Alright, so Gab Flag is the leader. Let's see where he chooses to restart the field. Is this safety car number three? I wonder if this is Gab Flag's first time restarting from first position. No pressure. No pressure at all. Just he's got a hundred percent ERS.
All right, the gaps are opening up, and man, PLL. Oh, back. he lost the rear. He lost the rear on power, and El Sus just got to run. That's it. He's lost the lead. Nameless Nate takes the three-second time penalty, and PLL. Oh, Roro, just... oh, Roro's been very, very brave today. On the outside, switches to the inside. He might have a run. I think he does. Roro on the run. He's got P2 cleared. All right, but remember, clear. Gabfly, Gabfly has been driving. Don't we, we can't act as if he's just entirely been up there because of Oddity's elsewhere. Rogaine. Race. He was defending very well against GDR. Might have a run right here. No, 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 no there's run. There's no run here. So El Susio oh, we've back got a moment. In, in Nameless the Nate the going up on the inside of Sakuri Bot. And Good. he's through. Shove him to the side. Yep. No. Absolutely no mercy. Okay, ro now... And Jay is chasing down Red Baron here. A little bit of a fight right at the very back of the field. Meanwhile, El oh, attack has already put on 3.5 seconds over Raw 3.6 already. And now, our question is, is Rogan going to be able to make a move? He takes a wide line as he, he comes He was trying to the do the switch back. The front didn't bite for him to be able to do it. He might dive, but I don't think he's going to do it. Not this time. But he is. Oh, Roro! Roro, did you see him? He oversteered into the barrier, I think. How is his well, we'll is the end plane intact? His end plane is intact, so he he got lucky. That's that, that's dodges, an easy win. Meanwhile, PLL is wing. right on the back of Dubman himself. As they go underneath the tunnel. Coming around through the final corners of the lap. Oh yeah, they, and they they caught up to Rogang as well. So this is a oh, oh, PLL. Yeah, just in the straight line, shoving it in the wall. Um, and El Susio Dan, my goodness, talk about just racing seconds. head and shoulders above. He's unstoppable today. Uh, if, I'm, if telling you, him, I'm telling you, I'm telling you. If he can't beat himself, no one can. Seriously, it feels like he's on inters and everyone is on wets. I'm telling you. It's, it didn't matter. He could go last again. Striking. It's crazy. It's insane. We are I, I have never seen away. I have never seen anything like that. And I've been on the on the grid with Dark Lol from uh, P PRL back in the day. Cub Nick. This delta in pace is just ridiculous. Oh, Dubman himself has a bit of a moment there. And we've got a yellow flag as uh, Nameless two. Nate runs Oh, the no! Team. Nameless Nate! No! No! Oh, Ferrari dreams are gone. Well, he still has his wing. Oh, oh right his wing is gone. His wing is gone completely. Oh, PLL has retired. PLL just coming out of the Singapore sling. PLL has crashed out oh, of the race. Yeah. Oh, goodness. He's he's showing so much promise every race, but every time something is happening late on that just takes him out of it after he challenges. Uh, he might have just... Oh, no. No, his car is gone. <laughs> so he, he lost no it right there. Huh? here. No safety car and no safety car. Gapflag has been doing a good job of holding off Rogan, and he's not falling far behind Rawro, so their pace is quite similar. There is a very real battle here for second place. Uh, Rawro was able yeah. to get past when Gapflag had a moment, but he hasn't pulled off, and you know everyone here is tiptoeing. These are such incredibly treacherous conditions. We cannot emphasize that enough. These guys are just racing on. The razor's edge of a slippery slope of a whatever metaphor for treachery you want. Okay, so you said half of okay half of this race is about 15, 16 laps, 15 and a half laps, right? That's correct. We have 10 laps left, and look at the top five. They all have 10 laps on their wets. That is going to be so key. What can they do? Because these tires are going to be turning themselves into slicks from be the gone. amount of wear that they're getting. Gone. Yes, and I do not think Sakuri. Oh, we've got a bit of a moment here. J.O. Patel is racing Sakuri bot. And he's going oh, to Oh yeah, just shove him in the wall. Shove him in the wall. Come on. 
Jail Patel is too much of a gentleman for that, and you know it. Just shove him in the wall. So there's a bit Where of a uh... to open up here, but Dubman himself is still chasing down Rogaine. You know, I never would say. I never thought I would say this. I don't know if you remember this guy. Uh, what was his name? Um, uh, oh shoot! I'll re I'll, if I remember. <laughs> This Ze guy, Zephyr. You remember. We need Zephyr, Zephyr here. Because Zephyr, Zephyr would definitely Zephyr would have definitely shoved that eye in the wall. Oh my goodness. Ten I bucks. remember Zephyr well. <laughs> what a what a fearsome opponent. <laughs> he was so good that I couldn't even think of him as an opponent. He was just like a force of nature who happened to be around. <laughs> yeah, he very much was. He very much was. Uh, if you're watching this effort with, uh, hope you're doing all right. <laughs> we love you. Come back, join us in Division One. We'd love to have you. Uh, Get, make yeah. make Cubs scared for once. Oh gosh, yeah. Uh, so we'll see. So I, everyone sort of settled now. There's no more the, on track. The race is actually on track battle. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're starting to get things starting out a little bit. Rogaine is falling back. Gadflag's pace is not a coincidence. This is real. This is him holding this position. Him racing, honestly, an almost mistake-free race. He he made a little bit of a moment to let Robber through into P2. But since then, he has been reeling him in, and Gadflag is not letting Robber get away. Oh. I think he's going to start challenging for second place. Also, Dubman himself passed by Dubman Prestige. on Prestige. Well, uh, Prestige on Dubman, I think. Or yes. did he just Yes, he's just... Nope. Through? Prestige overtook Dubman. And J.O. Patel is right on the back of Brother John. There is fighting here for 8th place. And Gab! Gab on Roro within a second. I was really hoping this this race would start drying a little bit. Well, you know what? Even if it doesn't, this is we're just it's delivering so much. Uh, we're going to have to go back over and comb through this race to figure out how it happened because oh, a little bit wider for Roro. Is Gaplight going to have a run? No, he doesn't get the exit he needs, and Roro is able to defend his position. Meanwhile, El Susi then just cruising off in the lead. He's on old tires here. Well, I think I have a weekend project, my friend. If there is ever a time to come up with a little video of the race history, this is the one. Because <laughs> I don't even know what happened, really, to half of these guys. I mean, we can only catch so much of the action. I know, and in a race that becomes as, as hectic as this, um, there, there, there really is only so much you can see. So thus far, we've had Bricklot, who was out on the first lap, JDR, who was spun around, fought his way back up into the voting positions, and then lost it in turn 14 and retired. Uh, Lacadienne, who lost it at the end of Raffles Boulevard while fighting with the J.O. Patel, and then PLL, who found himself out after also being a podium challenger. So, two of our retirements were people who we were both expecting to be real podium challengers here. So, you know, Sigurd, the doors are open. And Rauro, yeah, a little bit wide. Is Gabla yeah, going to have went. a run here? He uh, first. Not yet, because I think Gab also went a little wide, so they both of these guys went a little wide. Um, they're getting really uh, greedy on the brakes as well, you can hear it. Yeah. So Gab is getting really greedy on the brakes and locking up a little bit. Well, keep in mind, Gab also has younger tires by three Wow. Laps. Okay. El Sucio Dan almost has a fr have a free pit stop. He's nearly there, yes. That's disgusting. <laughs> it's, it's very impressive. I, uh, it very you know, much is. Shepa, oh, Gab flag a little bit wide there, and he loses a couple tenths to Raro. Oraro very deep, very, very deep. Did not clip his wing or anything. Okay. Live to fight another day. And all this dueling is slowly allowing Rogaine to start just running. Oh yeah, that was a tap. Did you hear that? Flag. Roro is going very, very wide. He's oversteering everywhere, basically. Well, you look at his tires. He is on 15, 15 lap laps old. Wet. He's been on these since lap 9, Sakuri. Yeah, it's... 
That's a good point. El Susu then casually cast sitting the past slab. Slab 13, you know. 13, yeah. We, we could be watching him, but he's time trialing at this point. Oh, Red Gab, Gab last uh, moment on with the rear. Allows Rogue to get he's really in, close. He's threat here. Yes, he is. And this, oh, Rogue! Oh, Rogue! Oh, 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 he saves the car. He saves the car, and Prestige, is Prestige going to take him? No, no. no. He's too, he just he's got loses a of lot gap. of time. But that's yeah. big breathing room for Gab Flag, as he can now focus entirely on his aggression on versus Rauro. Yes, he doesn't have to defend anymore. Absolutely right. And at this point, there are only 11 classified racers left in the race, uh, with Red Baron just two seconds behind Nameless Nate, but Nameless Nate has uh, several seconds of penalties that he'll have to deal with at the end of this race. Just three seconds, but that's enough for Red Baron to get ahead of him where the race yeah. to end right now. So Gab is losing a lot of time in the breaks. He's, he's getting really, really greedy. And it's not a coincidence, it's not a mistake. He's he's been locking up at the same points previous lap to this lap. So he's on the knife's edge right now. Like one lock up, he's in the wall. Cause he's really I mean he's really pushing Raro to, to, to get to that P2. And uh, the top five, nobody has a single penalty. Look at that. So I just like to point out Previously, Gaplag's results have been 11th place, 12th place, retirement. So okay. this is an incredible standout result for him. And even if he, even if something terrible were to happen, this has been a very impressive Man, showing from him. He's not shy. He's on like, you know, at those results, and he's on P3 right now. Most people yeah. would be content. It's like, look, I'm just gonna drive to the pit and park this one. He's yeah. no, he's fighting. Look at that. And, That's good. To I mean, see. you know, he, he's not intimidated at all. This is Raro, race winner in China, two time podium finisher. Raro has been no slouch this season, and Gabflag is just being very aggressive. He is keeping Raro on his toes. He is trying to push him into a mistake. And you pointed out he is locking a lot of locking up a lot in these corners, but he is just not leaving anything on the table as they go on increasingly worn out, wet tires. Okay, so these... I got a puncture in Monza. I didn't think you could get punctures in this game, but you can. Oh, you can. And, uh, what percentage were you at? Uh, well, I got... Oh, Gatman lost the rear. All right. So that gives Roro a little bit of breathing room. I think the minute that he got to 65%, he exploded. Oof, that's early. Well, it's a Ferrari, you know, it's a, it, it, it's a Ferrari master plan. So, oh, Gatman! Okay, so he's getting all bent out of shape now. And Rogaine is following. Very consistent pace here. Um, but, you know, Rogaine has had moments of his own, too. So, here's what happens. Here's the mentality during a Grand Prix. You make a mistake. You lose concentration. You lose concentration, you make another mistake. And it's just this negative feedback loop until you can compose yourself. The key and, thing is, uh, with Gap Flag falling behind of him in this case, uh, it opens up the track in front of him, and he can refocus, recenter. Yes. If he can do that. Absolutely. And that's the difference in between some of the experienced drivers that have been doing this for years and years, some of the new drivers. You know, some of the new drivers, you see them, they will get bent out, they're doing really well, get bent out of shape, and it's negative feedback loop just creeps in and it's, it's over. And then you have some of the most experienced people, they know, like, okay, I can't recover. And so come down and, and that's what separates them. And, but you know, these guys are doing really well. There's only four retirements, really. It's a yeah. monsoon in one of the hardest tracks in this game. Certainly so. And I have to say that uh, Prestige is catching up on the back of Rogaine as well. So, really, we've got four plausible contenders for second place uh, as we come in. We now have four laps left to go, 27, 28, 29, 30. Pardon me, five laps. My math is excellent. So, El Susio then has a free pit stop. He's not going to need to take it. He's setting fastest laps on these wets. Clearly, taking them to 20 laps is not going to be a difficulty for these guys. He's locking up a lot. So, El Susio is locking up the fronts 
on their breaking. So, we've noted that Gadflake is actually starting to lose a little bit of time to Raro. Uh, it's possible that he's just been pushing these tires a little bit harder? Oh, maybe. Because look, he's, he's fallen... Oh, well, actually, it's so it changes so much because I think Raro is racing very conservatively right now. El Susudan gets a three-second time penalty. Nine more of those, and he's going to be in trouble. <laughs> well, yes. Hopefully he doesn't get nine more of those. It would honestly be a He's little bit difficult right. for him to manage to do that. There's barely enough corners he could cut that could get him that many corners in this okay. race. Gert on the McLaren. Putting is, dub yeah. man on under pressure. And right now, oh, double oh, man, man, right into the wall. Oh, I was that's on board a disaster. for that. And there we go. That's his end plate sitting on the floor. And is he going to be able to finish the race, or is he going to have to pit? No, he's going to have to pit. John. There's he's no going way. To pit. There's no. Well, he's got 19. Okay, but it's a lot of laps. If he loses eight seconds a lap off of that. Which I could imagine in these circumstances. Like, that's going to be at least orange damage. Okay. So, let's see if he's going to pit. Four laps to go. Four laps to go. Oh, he needs to. Look at this. The difference is so dramatic. Gap like a little bit wide through turn three as they come out onto uh, Republic Boulevard. Oh, that's just... I feel the pain right here. And now on to Raffles. Uh, Raw Rose has built a 2.4 second gap and has mostly kept it between 2.4 and 3 seconds for the last several laps. Here we go, Dubman, serving his pit stop, and that's going to yep. drop him behind J.O. Patel. And, ooh, is it going to... I think he's still going to come out oh. narrowly ahead of the Sakuri bot. Rogaine is going to Rogaine is looks like is about to, to put Gab in uh quite a Oh no he's not oh. no he's not Oh Rogaine oh, why oh, no. oh the commentator's curse and Rogaine oh, gets so long with prestige. three four laps to go and four laps to go bro Oh, no, oh, that's oh. Fuck. Just out of the Singapore sling, too much speed, and he, too, is going to need to do a late pit stop here, and that's going to drop him down to 7th place. Oh, yeah, it is. You're right. Oh, Robert made a mistake as well, and Gaplight goes up into 2nd place. Prestige, now, we have a Ferrari in the top 3 as Robert. Yes! Yes, Ferrari in the, in the podium. Come on, baby. All right, let's it's have a look at front wings. Oh, and Robro has front wing damage as well. His oh, front left no, end that's, plate that's, is damaged. That and sucks. goodness, yeah, Rogan as well. There is going to be two it people. Is so, dude, he was on 20 lap old wet tires. It is so easy. Like, you stay on the brake for just a slightly more than you meant to, you're gone. All eyes now on Prestige, who is on very fresh wet tires. Roro's going to stay out! Roro stays out! Gutsy. This is this That's is brave. This is, is and brave. so is Rogan. So is Rogan. None of them are pitting. They're saying it's too close. Forget it. I'm fine. <laughs> it's All only right, a Kurt. flesh wound. Well, let's see how bad of a flesh wound it is as we go through All turn right. one, oh, turn two, no. and Rogaine, turn three. Okay, Rogan. Rogan's uh, wing literally does not exist. It is uh, truly limping. Yeah, it's it's so Kurt. Kurt, you got four seconds on. Rogaine, you got two laps to go. Uh. Nameless Nate is going to try and get past the Curry Bot for ninth place. Oh my God, it is not in ninth place. I'm I, I'm trying I'm trying to not pay attention to it, but honestly, it's the source <laughs> of a big fight right now, so I kind of have to look at it. Uh, oh no, no, no. Oh, he's got to oh. run. He's got to run into turn one. Okay. Come on, shove him to the side. Just, just send him to the Shadow Realm, come on. Well, this is letting Dubman get into the fight with Nameless Nate. Yeah, yeah, it's a train again. Oh, no. Oh, goodness. Nightmare. It's Yarno Sakuri. What a nightmare. Well, here we go. Coming down Raffles Boulevard. He's going to try and make a move on Sakuri. 
I wonder how many people are gonna protest this bot. <laughs> Sakuri runs oh, into no! Nameless Nate. No, no, this has all gone wrong. This has all gone wrong. I have to look at uh, the pace of Rauro and Rogaine, who are both falling very much off the pace with their damage, which is just oh! securing this for prestige. Guys, guys, penalties. We're almost to the. We're miles off to the last. Less of the uh, almost to the last uh, lap. Gab has got uh, three second penalty and Prestige is closing that gap. Oh, oh man, into the wall. I saw that. I saw that. And there goes his end plate. Oh goodness, it's, it's end plate city. Step aside, Monaco. Meanwhile, Rogaine is past Irma Gert has made his way through, coming down the first straight. And there's nothing Rogaine can do with so much Come loss. On, of Come on, Red Baron! Yes! He makes it through! Okay, he survives. He survives the Sukuri bot. It's, it's so, okay. So, key things here. Prestige is not building... He's not catching up Gavflag at a rate that's going to give him this position. It was five... It was five seconds... Oh, okay. And then it, it went down a three to second 3 second penalty. It, it is indeed a three second penalty. And Red Baron... 3.9! So hey, you know what all this means is that 7th through 10th, you don't have to pay attention to the penalties because they're all exactly the same. Got it. 3.8! He's, he's, he's racing a Delta right now! And he well, knows it! The driver though. knows it! 3.6! Oh, been Ferrari P2! Come on! Oh no! Prestige! Why? Why do I do this to these guys? Balzac on point with the Sakuri Eclipse today. Why? I just said Prestige P2, he loses a rear end! I have- okay, Balzac clipped that one too. That'll be, uh, that'll be 3 for oh, 3. Oh, oh, thanks Balzac! <laughs> where is, uh, where is Balzac? Why is he not racing? You raise a good point. I- that actually, uh, I do not know why Balzac is not here right now. He missed Italy. Uh, we could ask right now, perhaps. Why are you not racing, Balzac? You're very, you were very entertaining to watch. He always got into the weirdest shenanigans during his races. Man, forty seconds is the I gap mean, from P1 to let's P2. Let's just. I think we ah, just he moved. Need to... He moved. So he's. Well, thank I you think... for coming here and clipping us. <laughs> I think we just need to ride on board with El Susio Dan as he comes in on his final lap here. This has been such an impressive and OH MY GOODNESS! Oh, El no! Susio Dan! <laughs> 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 well, okay, hey, I was like, there's a commentator's curse for me. He uh, almost lost the wheel, man! Yeah, he absolutely- that- what if- Dude, Just what calm if, down. Just what calm if down, you got won the race off of that? That would be quite, quite the, if he DNFs right now. Now I have personally DNFed in the last sector yes, of a I race remember. before. I remember because it very well. Because you know, it, again, Zephyr was 90 degrees into the castle section, and I lost a wheel in his car. I will never uh, forget. Jail it. Patel is serving a penalty. Uh, sorry, is pitting on a, the last lap. Unfortunately, it's just going to cost him a position. I'm not entirely sure why he. Had to go El for that, Dan comes in here we go. for a provisional P1. Gentlemen. Now we gotta wait. We gotta wait for the penalties, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Gotta wait for the penalties. Ha! No. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's let's just run on board with Gab Flag here. He only has a small number of corners. Only six corners left to go here, and he will have a maiden podium. He can see fireworks in the distance. He knows El Susio Danson. Now he just needs to carefully bring it in. He has 3.8 seconds to prestige behind him, and Gab Flag is here. Now only three corners to go. Two. And then one as he passes underneath the highway bridge as he comes towards the final corners. Gab flag. What a impressive result here. Here we go. That is up 10 positions. P2. Gab flag. P2. P2. Prestige coming Grazie through in ragazzi. P3. Raro with a broken front wing. He could have been second. He broke that wing, but he held on to a fourth place here. And Raru comes through to take a well-earned fourth place with Irma Gert right behind him in fifth place. Gert almost came back. 
Rogaine now coming through in P6. He is also damaged, and Ermagert, by keeping it clean, has made up some very fine positions here. Brother John now coming around seventh place here as he comes into the final corners. Around nice and clean, Taft the Apex just rides the outside. Beautiful as he comes in for a seventh place finish. Nameless Nate after what a wild and crazy race. Yeah. That was wild. Nate was uh, all, like, it's not up yet, there, though. back there. Uh, I have to point out, uh, he's got Red Baron right behind him, and he is, well, not... Oh, not no! Oh, no! Name was Nate. Did he get a little celebratory there? Yeah. yeah. Well, he uh, still holds the position, though, from Red Baron. Oh, no. And in P10, oh, it's, it's, it's your friend and mine. It's Sakori Bot. This is bad. Just kidding, he's I actually Dubman himself. Sorry, no, actually, I think it's JL Patel. Because of Dubman's penalties, JL Patel is promoted ahead of him. Okay. And driver of the day, hands down. Absolutely, I absolutely it is. agree. Gab flag. Chapeau to you, sir. What a spectacular race you've run. El Susia Dan with the dance. That was and such a, well a dominating drive. I mean, Absolutely, that was, just... that was that was something else. That was the most dominant performance we have seen all season. And with that, El Susio Dan has, for the first time this season, taken the lead of the Division Two Championship with only four races left. There's only four of these left. Japan, USA, Mexico, and then the final race, where all final races should happen. Brazil, look at that! El Susio Dan, three seconds a lap faster, faster than, anybody. than anyone else. That's, El I Susio Dan. I have never seen. I've been doing, guys. I've been doing league racing with all these guys since I think to, to late 2016, maybe early 2017. Uh, every week, in and out. I have never seen a three-second delta in race delta. Remember when we were saying, oh, he has to serve that drive through penalty? He could have served two more drive through penalties without breaking he could a sweat. Have. He could have. He could have. I mean, I, I, I have never seen this in my life. Oh my goodness. What, what, what a, a race. race, Sakuri. What a spectacular result. Well, sir, <laughs> after that uh, uh, mess of a setup, we had a what mess a of a race. <laughs> so, a beautiful mess of a race, Sakuri. A well, beautiful absolutely. mess. Absolutely. Well, thank you for uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, for those of you, if you are watching, thank you for your patience when we were trying to set up today. It was my first time setting up a Twitch stream with uh, OBS. Um, for those of you who drove today, that's two or three times. I'm sorry for uh, the bot. Um, and uh, yeah, but uh, you know, if you made it this far and you'd like to join us and race, we have two divisions, uh, seats on both. We have a division, a uh, new season coming up with a new game, of course. You can see all the links on our Twitch chat. And uh, this is Sukuri. It's been a pleasure. Chaos signing out. Now I gotta just figure out how to stop the stream. <laughs> uh, you press, uh, you open it up, and then you hit the button at the bottom right corner oh, that says "Stop what uh, Streaming." A crazy! I need to go in there and talk to these guys and just, just, just uh, you know, apologize. Really. <laughs>